fractions to decimals, part one. You've changed decimal numbers into fractions. You've reduced those fractions to lowest terms. You've also changed decimal numbers with whole number parts. And of course, that gives you a mixed number in the answer. Now we're going to go the other way. I'm going to show you how to turn a fraction into a decimal. You probably already know some decimal fraction equivalents, like these. But you can't learn every possible fraction by heart. That's crazy stuff. We're going to work them out instead using skills you already have. Let's bring up a place value chart to help us. Look at the fraction columns, tenths, hundredths and thousandths. Any fraction we have to show as a decimal is most easily done if it has a denominator of 10, 100 or 1000. So if we have 7 tenths, it has no whole ones so we put a zero, decimal point, and the 7 goes in the tenths column because we've got 7 tenths. 7 tenths equals 0 0.7. It's just the opposite of what you've already learned when you turn a decimal into a fraction. What if our fraction has a denominator that's not 10 or 100 or 1000? Then our go-to strategy is to make a new equivalent fraction with a friendly base 10 denominator. Let's try it. 4 fifths. We have a denominator of 5. We can turn that into a denominator of 10. We just multiply by 2. And we do the same up top to make our equivalent fraction. 8 tenths. And of course, as a decimal, that's 0 0.8. Not hard at all. Let's do another one. 1 twentieth. This time, we have to think bigger. Our denominator of 20 will turn into 100. To do that, we multiply by 5. Do the same to the numerator, and that gives us five hundredths. When you write your decimal, be careful. There are no whole numbers, so zero, then decimal point. Now take care. The first decimal place is tenths. We don't have any tenths, so we put a zero to show that. Then we've got the hundredths place, and that's where we put our five. We see that one twentieth equals zero point zero five. This strategy is easy and quick. Make an equivalent fraction with a base 10 denominator. Keep it as low as you can though, always. Finish your equivalent fraction, then just write the numerator as your decimal value. Super easy. And what if you get a mixed number? Like this, four and seven fiftieths. Is that going to be too hard for you? I don't think so. First, Put the whole number part in the answer. Then do the fraction part separately. To turn 50 into 100, you multiply by 2. So same up top. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 hundredths. Then the numerator is just your decimal fraction. Easy. You've got the idea and now it's time to try some for yourself. This is the first way to change a fraction into a decimal. It doesn't work for every fraction, only those where you can make an equivalent fraction with a friendly base 10 denominator. For other fractions where you can't make a friendly denominator, there's another step you can take to make it work. And that's part two of fractions to decimals. See you next time.